Good morning, folks. Offshore the UK in the North Sea, oil has been leaking badly enough to force frantic crew evacuations. There was an avalanche in Italy as well yesterday, likely caused by snowmelt. Speaking of snowmelt, extra water runoff and ice jams and river choke points has Canada flooding in multiple areas. Two days ago, we had an unexpected volcano activity in the Caribbean, and yesterday I told you... There are a number of large earthquakes on the Pacific Ridge and a little bit north and south of the Caribbean and Cocos Plates. That whole region should probably be on watch for the next week or so. Folks, when the Pacific Ridge lights up like that, simultaneously with the western subduction zone of the Americas, Chile always ends up getting rocked. Yesterday, a 7.1 earthquake off the coast, just as the moon danced with the ancient gods in the evening sky. You can catch that again tonight if you missed it. Hopefully this area is done for now, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Those same moderate quakes are continuing in the region, especially around Puerto Rico with the earthquake swarm. For those who use Unisys or have contacts at the Elkhart Airport on the Oklahoma-Nebraska border, something has gone haywire with one of your sensors. That's affecting many readouts. If any of you know some experts on this, I'd love a word or two. The Earth footprint remains on this active region turning the southeastern limb. Any eruptions there will cause a radiation storm, but activity has died down since it first emerged about 36 hours ago. There is some minor activity on the central part of the disk that we'll watch today along with these magnetic filaments. That's the news, folks. Be safe.